Hey Seminole family, thank you for joining me for another video devotion. Today I want to talk about how what's in your heart will spill out. Jesus teaches us that there's a connection between my mouth and my heart. Just like there's a connection between our foot pushing down on an accelerator and our car speeding up. There's a connection between what I say and what's already in my heart. Matthew 12, 34 says, Whatever is in your heart determines what you say. You know, when we live in close proximity to the people that we love, it's inevitable that we're going to kind of bump into each other every now and then. When we're communicating we bump into each other more frequently. When we bump into each other, what's in us spills out. And then we wonder where that outburst or those hurtful words came from. The truth is those angry, vindictive, hurtful, judgmental, emotional words came out of us because that's what's in there. That's what's in our heart. Whatever's in my heart spills out during those times of conflict. That's why there's a mess. That's why angry words spill out, hurtful words, judge, judgmental words, even fearful words. It's because what's in our heart comes out of our mouths. Whatever is deep down in my heart eventually spills out into my relationships. If our heart is feeling bitter, words of sarcasm will spill out. We wish we could avoid it. We wish we could control it. Some of us are good at masking it for a while, but eventually what's in our heart, it finds its way out. It spills out in our words. And we try to dam up that river but it's like it's building pressure and building pressure. And all these pent-up emotions and pent-up anger come tumbling out like a waterfall, like a river out of control. So how do we break this pattern? How do you change what comes out of your mouth, the hurtful words? Well, since our words are an overflow of our heart, we need to start taking our hearts a little more seriously. Instead of pretending that our words don't mean anything, we need to ask ourselves, why do we say that? Why do we say what we say? Our words hurt others, and our words hurt ourselves. You start by saying, Jesus Christ, will you change my heart? Because I want to say the right kind of words. Will you change my heart and change my words? because I want to have the right kind of heart. You ask for his help, both with your heart and with your words, and he'll help. He will come and he will make a difference in your heart. God cares about our words because he cares about the way we love others. The encouragement to me is that I'm not in this alone. I want you to realize you're not in this alone. Jesus Christ wants to be a part of your life. And he's willing to be a part of your life. In fact, he asks to be a part of your life. One of my favorite verses is from King David in Psalm 51.10, where he writes, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Let's make that our prayer this week. Let's say to God, God, Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Let me just pray that for us right now. Heavenly Father, I ask that you will create a clean heart in all of us. That you will renew a right spirit in us. And that what's in our heart will change. And that that will change our behavior and our words. How we love others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey. As your pastor, I love you. I'm going to be praying for you this week. I hope you have a great day.